Hi, I'm Dr. Lena Opfermann. I'm a senior lecturer in applied social studies and I'm the course coordinator of the Masters in International Social Welfare and Social Development. Okay, so why study this course? I think there are four main reasons um, that makes it really worthwhile to sign up for this course. Um, the first one is that the content is very international in its scope. So in terms of what we teach in the different lectures and modules, and also in terms of what students then get to do in their assignments, we focus on case studies from around the world and students can then become experts in the topics that they choose and that they're interested in. Um, that is linked to the second point, which is that the lecturers have a lot of practical experience in terms of their academic kind of research experience, but also in terms of their own practitioner experience. So in my case, for example, um, I, I worked with the UN Refugee Agency in different countries and I worked for an NGO in South Africa, assisting refugees and migrants for a number of years. And I'll be drawing on that experience in my teaching. Um, so students benefit from that wealth of experience that the staff bring to the course. The third um, reason to, to join this course is that um, it teaches both practical and academic skills. So students will walk away having advanced academic skills in terms of writing um, an independent piece of research or an essay or um, a case study, um, but also they will have practical transferable skills that they can then use when they go out in the world to work as practitioners. And fourthly, I think what makes the course really unique is that the students that sign up for it are usually very diverse and come from around the globe. Um, so every year we have students from different continents um, coming together and, and learning together on this course and really while studying already applying the concepts that they learn in terms of intercultural competence. So if you do group work with people from other cultural backgrounds, you then know what it means to, to apply those concepts in practice as well.